Ekuru Alcott, renowned lawyer and former presidential running mate, has taken to X, formerly Twitter, to make a bold statement regarding the replacement of Deputy President Rigafi Gachagua. Alcott claimed that by selecting Kithure Kindiki to replace Gachagua, President William Ruto confirmed that Kindiki represented the interests of the Manat Kenya region better than Gachagua. Despite the fact that they were elected on a joint ticket in 2022, Alcott's post also touched on Kendiki's controversial history, particularly his role in defending Rudo during the International Criminal Court ICC hearings following the 2007-2008 post-election violence. According to Alcott, Kendiki convinced the ICC that the violence, which resulted in 1,330 deaths, did not happen, including the infamous Kiamba Church Massacre and the displacement of Matt Kenya residents in Rift Valley. Alcott also criticized Kendiki's performance as Interior Cabinet Secretary in 2023 and 2024, accusing him of overseeing the deaths, abductions, and disappearances of demonstrators during protests. His remarks seemed to suggest that Kendiki, despite his strong ties to the region, was failing to protect the people of Mount Kenya under the current administration. This comes as part of the larger controversy surrounding Rigafi Gachagua's impeachment. Gachagua has been facing legal challenges, with his lawyers arguing that the process of replacing him was unconstitutional. His legal team, led by senior counsel Paul Moite, questioned Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Wheeler's authority in empaneling a three-judge bench to hear his impeachment case. As tensions rise, Alcott's comments reflect the growing dissatisfaction within some quarters about the direction of the government, particularly in regard to Mount Kenya's representation in national politics. The replacement of Gachagua with Kindiki continues to fuel debate about regional influence and political loyalty in Kenya's leadership.